it's about to go down. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel, Gear Inc, where I get a show and a passion about with you. To my channel, it's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. Before we get into any of today's topic, which are very exciting, I just want to note, check it out, my studio's finally done for the most part. I'm not going to be doing a video on it quite yet, but I got all my cool computer stuff up here, computers down there. This is the stuff that really matters, at least right now, because as you can still hear from the echo, I don't have any furniture in here. So as I continue to build it, eventually I'll do like my ultimate gamer den vlog kind of thing. But for now, this is the part that matters. So we got... A a little bit of a rumor going on and the rumor is that the 2080 ti yes not the 2080 is going to be potentially released or at least announced at gamescon along with maybe the 2080 and 2070 so what's weird is first nvidia has never done this if they do this is all complete rumor territory by the way so take it with a grain of salt but that being said there's a couple reasons why it makes sense to me if they do why they would so typically nvidia strategy is they have their flagship uh, next gen gpu in this case we're anticipating that it's going to be called the 2080 and and it's going to basically uh, be kind of the one that they lead the charge with more or less. And then they release the more budget oriented GPUs down the line as the months go on to suck as much money out of us as they possibly can. That being said, in terms of actually getting into um, this new territory, there's a couple of reasons, like I said, that makes a little bit of sense. So the first reason is market share. AMD is not gonna be releasing anything new from their side at least until the first quarter or later of 2019, and they weren't really able to compete in the current space in terms of power consumption versus performance. So Nvidia knows that they don't really have any competition right now. The other thing they may announce, which we've kind of all not necessarily forgot about, but it was on the back burner, is their huge gaming TVs that they're coming out with with 120 Hertz refresh rate and G-Sync. So it makes sense that if they can lock as as many people as possible into their uh, GPU architecture, which is not to say obviously they wouldn't want to do this anyway and grab as much of the market share as they can, that this would be a great opportunity to do that so that they can then continue to sell G-Sync related products to the biggest um, share of you know consumers they possibly can. It also makes sense as their earnings report came out recently and GPU um, over basically the revenue across the board was up, but in just this one sector for graphics cards, it was down and they related that to cryptocurrency mining basically drying up, saying the market was soft because of of that and so coming out with a new exciting product is a way to revitalize sales so kind of makes sense to me but let's talk about the 2080 ti so this rumor is out of wccf tech so take it with a grain of salt to begin with but tech power up is the source they cite even though they say the three sources is the only one they actually give citation to which gives us some statistics on supposedly the 20 ti and what we have to expect so when you look at this thing it's an absolute monster it's got 800 more CUDA cores than the current 1080 ti it's got 616 gigabytes of band with it's absolutely nuts and then it's got about uh, like 560 570 of those tasty tensor cores that jensen just can't stop talking about <laughs> so it's one of those things where i'd be excited to see this type of performance because it'd be absolutely massive so that's very exciting and obviously if we get an announcement at least of a release date even if they don't release it all together that'd be good enough for me now the other thing that was sneakily put in the other day from intel was a teaser for their gpus they released this teaser and it's for their graphics card now none of this would be coming out until 2020 but basically it goes over all their past accomplishments and then gives us this little shot of a silhouette of what the GPU might look like. So it's their way of kind of interjecting and being like, NVIDIA, you might be on top now, but we're coming for you. Or just to re remind everybody that they're actually working on a GPU. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. It's very exciting. I can't wait till Monday. I'm gonna, if they say that the GPUs are releasing that day or whatever day, you know I'm gonna be right there with you just mash and click to try to get a hold of one of these things. But that being said, if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. But if you didn't, that's all right. Leave me a thumbs down. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon, guys. Let's continue to grow. My personal giveaway is going to be going at 12,500 subs. Help me hit that before 2019. And as you know, I will take care of you. I always do. I want to, I do those giveaways not because, not, you know, because I'm just trying to grow the channel, which obviously I am. I do it as a reward because if you're willing to support me by watching these videos, I want to give back as much as I can. I think that's one of the things that separates me from some of the other tech tubers out there. Now, the other thing is also, as always, thank you to my Patreons and Twitch subs. If you are a Patreon and Twitch sub, you get your name put at the end of my video. So make sure if you want to support me directly, you do that. If you're Twitch and you have your free Amazon Prime one, I do stream on the weekends and I'm going to get back to that this weekend. There's a lot of videos I'm coming out with, the budget gaming one, the sound one, ergonomic mouse. There's a bunch of stuff I'm doing. So expect those videos coming out in the next couple of days. Outside of that, guys, as always, I'm going to make these videos whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do. And I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Geared Inc.